Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today is Machine Monday. So we're going to show you guys how to use Contact 5 multi timbral in the Machina 2.0 software. Now, why would you want to use that? Well, say if you use all of your instruments using Contact 5, you don't want to have to open another instance for your piano, then another one for your horns, and another one for your drums, similar to the MPC tutorial that we did a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to show you how to do the same thing in Machine, so you can only have one instance of Contact open, but still run 16 sounds through the MIDI outputs. So let's begin. Now, if you look at my screen in Group A, I have contact 5 loaded and I also have a group B where I'll show you a longer way to do it basically the same thing I'm doing in group A just more spelled out so everybody can get it so let's go to group A notice I have three sounds loaded one says piano one says strings and one says horns so they all are set up on different MIDI channels similar to the way you would do it in MPC, Ableton, any other place so that you can all hear the sound separately. So how do you set that up? Well first thing you do is you load Contact 5. So you would click the drop down menu, you would go to Native Instruments, then you would click Contact 5, either 8 outputs if you want 8 sounds or 16 outputs if you need 16 sounds. Now I already loaded the 16 output version so I can't click it right now. So let's go ahead and load our sounds. Now notice I loaded the piano, I loaded action strings, and I loaded session horns. Now if you look closer at the details of them, look at the MIDI channels. The giant is on MIDI channel A. Action Strings is on MIDI channel B and Session Horns is on MIDI channel 3. So now that we know that we have our sounds on separate MIDI channels, we have to set our outputs and our inputs on the MIDI channels on the actual software to make sure that we can hear sound out of them. How do we do that? Well, let's do it now. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're on the sound tab and then click this button right here. Then you want to go to your outputs and then you want to go to MIDI. Now for this one we don't have to set it it's already on MIDI channel 1 and the destination we don't have to worry about that because we're on the first channel but when we're going down to our strings we have to make sure the MIDI channel is set at 2, just like it is in Contact 5, and then we set the destination for the MIDI. And normally that S1 would say Contact 5, but since I changed the name of uh, Sound 1 to Piano, that's why it says Piano. So, just to test to see if we have sound, let's put some stuff in this pattern. All right, and as you can hear, we have sound out of that channel. So let's go down to session horns and do the same thing. We go down to horns, we go to the outputs, we make sure the MIDI channel is on three, and then we set the destination to S1 piano. And as you can see, we have sound. So to do it really quickly to show you how to do it on your own, we'll go down to group B one more time.
And there you have it. At that point, you should have sound coming out of all of your instruments. Do the same thing until you reach 16 channels. And that is how you use Contact 5 multi timbral in Machine. Now, once again, it's Drum Machine Addicts. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tune in next week for Machine Mondays, Ableton Wednesdays, NPC Fridays, and Logic Pro X Sundays. If you have any questions, hit us at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com.